The deaths of three LSU students in the past week and a half have sparked the LSU community to hold a vigil. Fox 44's Kennedy Walker joins us live from that vigil with a look at how students are coping with the recent loss. Kennedy. Lauren, I'm at the LSU Amphitheater where nearly 100 students were giving candles like these to help mourn the loss of the three LSU students that lost their lives in nine days. Now, LSU President F. King Alexander spoke along with the student who helped plan the event and said that he did it so that it can help students grieve. It's been a somber few weeks at LSU as the community came together to mourn the loss of three students. A lot of sadness on, on, the, on the campus and a lot of questions about what's going on and we felt the need to kind of come together as a campus community. Starting with grad student Muhammad Firoz Gulamin. The 29-year-old had been shot and killed while working at Mr. Lucky's gas station on September 7th. Following with Gilgamesh Homan, the 18-year-old fractured the back of his skull after falling off his skateboard on Sunday. Gil was a very down-to-earth person. You know, there wasn't anyone who disliked Gil. Marcus Lewis was present when Homan's accident when took place. I thought it was just a, a bad concussion or something like that, but it's something that you don't really expect. He also lived in the dorm where an LSU student was found dead in her dorm room on Tuesday. LSU President F. King Alexander released a statement saying in part he is heartbroken by these awful events and our entire community is mourning their passing. While Alexander said the three deaths are unrelated, he said the collective loss means a great deal to the university. Kennedy Walker, Fox 44. Now you can find out more information on our website or on our free VR Proud app. Reporting live at LSU, Kennedy Walker, Fox 44.